last time. Too last time. Yeah. What's up, guys? I'm Charlie. Last summer, my friends Kirby Patrick and I went to Fish Lake National Forest in Utah to hang out, have a good time, enjoy some nature, but also to find the largest living organism in the entire world. All right, try to think of the largest living organism in the entire world. A giant squid. Elephants. A blue whale. Dinosaurs. Are dead now, but they were pretty big and alive at some point in time. All these things are pretty big, but no, the largest living thing in the world is a tree. Like a giant sequoia. Yeah, like my boy General Sherman out in California. Sequoias are pretty huge, but the largest living thing in the whole world is actually in Utah. It's this guy right here. He's a tree, and his name is Pando. But obviously, that's not all of Pando. This is also part of Pando. So is this guy, and so is this one. These guys over here, and that one, that one, and so is this one. Pretty much all of this kind of tree and the surrounding 106 acres make up one organism, and his name is Pando, and he is massive. You see, Pando's a quaking aspen tree, and they reproduce a little differently than other trees out there. Most trees make more trees by first creating tiny flowers that get pollinated and form seeds, which later germinate and grow into other trees. But quaking aspens like Pando prefer a different method. They reproduce clonally. So a single quaking aspen tree has a pretty massive root system. Every so often, those roots shoot up and create another tree. This can happen over and over and over until you get enormous systems of trees, like this one. All these trees are genetically identical. They have the exact same DNA, change colors at the exact same time in the fall, and have the same branching pattern. So people refer to them as clones. So all these trees started out a long time ago from one single seed. And the amazing thing is that even though there looks like there's thousands of trees around here, they're all interconnected through one root system. So we can think of them together as one single organism. It might be easier to think about Pando as just one giant root system. That's the main part of the organism. And every once in a while, it just shoots up another arm, which is a tree growing out of the ground. Most quaking aspens spread around an area of about one to 20 acres, but our buddy Pando here is about 106 acres, shooting up a whopping 50,000 tree trunks and weighing in at approximately 13 million pounds, which is about the same weight as 6,500 giant squids, 867 African elephants, 32.5 blue whales, or three general Shermans, making it the largest living thing in the entire world. It has more dry mass than anything alive on the earth right now. Dry mass is key here because there's some mycologists who might claim that a fungal mat in Oregon is actually the largest living thing in the world. And they're right, that fungal mat is absolutely huge. But we're talking about dry mass here, which excludes water. And in this category, Pando kind of gets first by a long shot. The cool thing about reproducing clonally is that it allows trees to live for a really long time. Some people have estimated that Pando is around 80,000 years old, which is crazy. I mean, he looks so sprite and young, young and chipper as ever, doesn't he? Cool, cool, but reality check here, Pando's dying. He's lived for a really long time and unfortunately has taken quite a hit. There's been disease, fire suppression, insect infestation, and deer just eating up all the new saplings. And now for whatever reason, the old parts of Pando are dying and there's not a lot of new growth to replace it. And the thing is, no one has really any idea why that's happening. So while the forest rangers scramble to save this big man, we like to let him shine for the little time he has left. Congratulations, Pando. You are a nature boom time approved plant. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. Click here to subscribe and here to check out our Patreon page. If you'd like to check out some more nature boom time, click over here and click over here for some other videos we post on this channel. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.